hello students welcome back to this video lectures today we are going to discuss one experiment of the SYBAC okay so uh, experiment name uh, couple oscillators okay aim of the experiment that is to determine sorry to study the normal mode of couple pendulums and find out the frequency splitting and the couple strain coupling strains okay so apparatus for this experiments so two identical simple pendulums one stop force and the thread okay. so this is the diagrams uh, here this this is the rigid supports a and b these are point where we uh, attach this uh, simple pendulum this p is one simple pendulum and this q is another simple pendulum okay so this distance is okay this is from the rigid support to one thread where we connect it horizontally and this uh, distance d where we connect uh, two simple pendulums okay so this distance between the two simple pendulum that is d we connect it with the thread and this height means this vertical uh, distance that is we represent with the s okay this is from the rigid support to uh, this thread okay so here we uh, study the modes normal modes okay so here three types of normal modes one is this a and b this a and b this uh, directions and magnitudes okay so here uh, this is the first mode this is a second mode and this is a third mode okay in this mode we uh, oscillate uh, two simple uh, si simple pendulum mode with the together and here in the opposite directions and in the third ones here one oscillating and another is a rest positions okay so uh, this is uh, about the couple oscillators now we are going to see the setup of this couple oscillators okay so this is a setup of the couple oscillators this is a stopwatch okay and these are the two pen simple pendulum okay this is a p and this one is a q this is a bob okay, with the identical mass and this length is also identical okay so here uh, this distance uh, this distance i am taking the 10 centimeters okay so this is in the, uh, represent with the or in, uh, defined with the d okay and this distance from the this uh, scale to this rigid support to the this thread is a 7 centimeters so it uh, defined with the s and this distance with the d okay so this is a 7 centimeters and this horizontal that is a uh, 10 centimeters okay so uh, here uh, we are going to discuss uh, sorry observe count the third modes uh, sorry three modes okay first second and the third in the first mode we are going to start this os oscillator with the together okay so let's start uh, okay start one two three four five Twenty. Okay, stop. So uh, here we are going to measure uh, count the twenty oscillation and whatever the time required for the twenty oscillations that is uh, we are going to measure. So here uh, for the twenty oscillations we have the twenty six uh, second time required for the twenty uh, oscillations. Okay. So for the first mode uh, number of cycle is twenty and the time required that is a uh, twenty six okay now the second mode in the second mode uh, the direction of these two pendulum is the opposite directions okay and we measure the uh, cycle the 20 cycle and whatever the time required that we count by this uh, stopwatch okay so first i am going to reset this stopwatch and okay now the direction of these two pendulums is opposite okay Start one. 
20 okay stop so here uh, for the 20 oscillations the time required for the 20 oscillation is a 25 second okay so for the second mode uh, time required for the 20 oscillation is a 25 seconds now the third mode in the third mode one pendulum is a rest position and another we are going to oscillating okay so when it is start oscillating after some time uh, this pendulum is a in the rest positions and uh, second one that is start oscillating so when this both pendulum start uh, in the first one is a rest position and another is a oscillating when this second one is a uh, come to the rest positions and again start this second one uh, first one is a oscillating so uh, when uh, this cycle we uh, measure one okay like this so uh, here i am going to measure the five cycles okay so first one this is this okay so this is a uh, second pendulum and this is a first one so i am going to this uh, first is a raised positions and another is start to oscillate okay and same time i am starting the stop first Now this amplitude of this first pendulum is continuously decreasing and here whatever the rest uh, pendulum is start to oscillating and the amplitude of this oscillator uh, second one is uh, continuously increasing okay. So now this will be the, uh, the rest positions and this start oscillating. Okay, this is now this is a half cycle. Now, if this complete this oscillation and come to the rest positions, it's complete one cycles. Okay, now this amplitude of this uh, second one is decreasing, and this one is increasing. Okay. okay, now this is a one cycle because this first one is a come to the rest. Okay. Now this this first one this starting the oscillating and second one okay now this will be the rest and this will be the start again oscillating okay so like this uh, i am going to taking the five oscillations okay and the, for the five oscillations required time is uh, approximately 130 seconds okay so i am going to stop here okay so let me again explain how to take the third mode okay and explain uh, how to count the one cycle okay so this is in the rest positions and this is the oscillating okay so uh, when it start oscillating okay this is the rest is okay, so now this one is a continuously decreasing so means amplitude is continuously decreasing and energy transfer through this thread to the second pendulums okay now this will be the rest and this will be the start oscillating okay so after uh, some time this will be uh, in the rest position so that time the si one cycle is a complete okay by this couple oscillators okay so like this uh, now this this one is a in the rest positions and this will start oscillating Now this will be start oscillating. So like this, uh, this is a one cycle. Okay. So like this, uh, I'm going to measure the five os oscillations and the, for the five oscillations, approximately uh, time required 
that is uh, 130 seconds okay so for the five oscillations it is 130 seconds okay now the calculations part we are going to discuss okay so this is the aim of this uh, experiment to study the normal mode of coupling pendulum and uh, find out the frequency splitting and the coupling strains okay so apparatus for this uh, experiment two identical simple pendulum stop watch thread okay and the diagrams so this is uh, diagrams uh, this distance is s from the rigid supports to this thread this is a thread okay and this p and the q these are the two simple pendulums okay and this distance is d okay here is a modes first mode second mode third modes in the first mode the amplitude a and b is the same uh, amplitude or the directions is the same here the directions is opposite in the third modes uh, one pendulum is rest and another is uh, is oscillating okay so these three uh, modes okay now the observe in the observation tables this is a serial numbers okay first second okay like that and this s distance this s is a distance is here uh, we are taking this 7 centimeters and this d distance uh, by the uh, this two pendulum connected by these threads so it is a 10 centimeters okay okay and this mode first second and third modes first second and third modes okay that is normal mode so here we count the number of cycles in that is indicated with the n so 20 for the first mode and the time required for the 20 oscillation is a 26 uh, second okay <laughs> and the for the second mode also we measure the 20 oscillations and the time required for the um, 20 oscillation is a 25 seconds in the third mode uh, mode in this uh, we measure the five oscillations and the time required for this uh, five oscillation is 130 seconds okay now the calculation pa part next column is a period capital t is equal to small t by n small t is a time and n is a number of cycle so here if uh, we take the ratio of this t by n so it is equal to 1.3 okay. okay if we calculate so then the take if we take the inverse of this thing uh, capital t so that is a frequency that is uh, we measure in the hertz okay so that is equal to point if we take the inverse of 1.3 so that is 1.769 uh, okay and uh, this is equal to v win v1 okay frequency for the normal modes first okay 0.769 now for the uh, second uh, mode here uh, number of oscillation n is equal to 20 time period a small t is equal to 25 so if we take the ratio of a small t by n is equal to capital t so that is equal to 1.25 okay and frequency if we calc uh, if we take the inverse of this time period so that is equal to v2 mu2 and uh, it is equal to point eight zero okay eight zero zero okay now the third mode okay in third modes uh, we're taking the five oscillations and the time required for the uh, five oscillation is 130 okay if we take the uh, inverse uh, ratio of this small t by n so it is equal to 26 okay and the inverse of this 26 is equal to mu 3 and that is equal to 0.384 okay so now v2 minus v1 so uh, v2 minus v1 if we take so that is equal to vb and that is equal to point zero three ones okay that is v2 minus v1 this second frequency and the first frequency is equal to vb okay so uh, if we observe this frequency vb this is equal to vb right so point zero three ones and uh, this v3 is nothing but the vb okay so that is equal to 384 so this frequency and this frequency is uh, approximately same here is a point three ones and here is a point three eight four okay so uh, this is a uh, difference between the frequency is equal to the vb so now uh, next column is a coupling strain that is uh, equal to the vb by, uh, vb by v2 so vb is equal to 
0.031 and the v2 is equal to 0 0.800 so okay so if we take the ratio of this thing so it is equal to 0 0.031 okay this is a coupling strength so same uh, if we uh, take for the second here this s is uh, increasing okay like 11 and the d is decreasing okay so uh, here coupling strains if you same uh, we for uh, take the readings so here coupling strains we can calculate again so result of this thing we can write okay the frequency difference split v2 minus v1 is equal to vb okay here uh, if you observe this vb point uh, 0 3 ones and the vb is equal to 0.38 this is approximately same this readings and this readings okay so first result we can write the frequency difference split v2 minus v1 is equal to vb and the second one that is a coupling strength goes on increasing with the increasing in s it means if we this thing is increased then this coupling strain is increasing and the it's a decrease in the d so this is in the d is a decreasing so coupling strain is a, a decreasing okay so this is a result okay so this is about the couple oscillators